reptiles have what we call temperature dependent sex determination. So in other words, the temperature of the environment, the environmental temperature influences the sex of those embryos while they're developing. It's not genetic in other words. So for example, at a certain temperature, say for example, a, a temperature below 32, in a clutch of eggs you'll get primarily female hatchlings. Above 32, up until about 33 degrees, you'll get primarily male hatchlings. And then believe it or not, even above that, from 33 and up, you then get an increase in female hatchlings once again. So there's a very fine line, um, what they call the pivotal temperature, where you get that 50-50 um, ratio of males to females. So imagine what global warming is going to do to that. Okay, they say the earth is you know, going to heat up by, what, 2 or 3 degrees in the next, you tell me, you know, decade or 2 or 100 years or whatever the figures are. If that increase actually takes place, what effect is it going to have on a developing clutch of eggs? You know, it's going to increase the temperature of that incubation and you're going to end up with primarily male hatchlings, if not sort of 100% male hatchlings. So I think on reptiles and other species with this, this temperature dependent sex determination, I think global warming is going to have a huge effect. It's going to skew the sex ratios entirely. You know, they've been around for 260 million years. Um, they kind of proliferated when, when, well, before the mammals and all the rest of the species were, you know, sort of coming to be. So, you know, I'd say they, you know, they, they are the living dinosaur. Also, they're definitely a, a keystone species in the systems they occupy. They're top predators and they, they maintain um, sort of the ecosystems under them. You know, they're not one of the cute and cuddlies and that sort of thing in life, but uh, give them a chance see how they function, learn a little bit about them, try and understand them. And I'm sure they would, you know, once you do that, it'll change your mind about crocs in general, I believe.